Right guys, Gaft is back with the reveal to the vanish you will have seen yesterday. Well, when I mean reveal, I am not at liberty to actually reveal said gimmick. Said gimmick is actually for sale. If anyone is interested, shoot me an email and I can get this in the post. I will, however, run through how the trick works because it does involve another gimmick, which is a bottom of the box gaff. Yes, we all know about the top of the box, but this is a bottom of the box gaff. So I'll show you basically what's going to happen. You're going to take your card cage and your deck of cards. We're going to remove a couple of oh, top of the box gaff. Look, we don't need that. We get rid of that. And what other cards have we got in here? Yeah, we get rid of those couple of double backers. Um, so you're going to introduce, in fact, no, we're not. We're going to sort it out, Gaffer. This top of the box is going to go face down on the top of the deck. This can all go into the box. Right, let me just show you a crazy card trick. So you're going to introduce the card cage by Hideki Tani. I cannot reveal this, I am sorry. But I'll show you how the trick works. You're then going to go into the deck, pull out the cards, close up the box and leave it close to hand, back side up, and spectators got free choice of any card. You'll want them to sign this card because when they see this card again they need to know it is the same card. But because you've got your bottom of the box gaff on the top, you need to keep this on the top but you need to get this card to the bottom of the deck. So the easiest way to do that is just to push it somewhere into the middle. You're then going to push in and push up and grab a break like this, so chosen card is here. You are then going to pick up this portion of card with their card here, swing cut the top, but you're going to grab the bottom portion, pull it out, so their card is now here, drop everything on top. So in a fluid motion, it will look like you're pushing their card in. We're going to give them a cut. So their card's on the bottom, but you haven't disturbed your top of the box gaff. You can then give it another fake cut if you want as long as their card stays on the bottom you're then going to place a cage on the top and a cage on the bottom all you're going to do is hold the top cage by the cage itself but the bottom you're going to hold it th through the hole and contact the card underneath so as you flick the cards across you will steal the bottom card which will be their chosen card you're now going to put these cages on the top of the deck and you are going to Pull the cages off from the top, not the um, top of the box gaff yet, remove that. So you've got the cages and you're going to slide this between the two cages. But in the real world this card does not go between the two cages. It goes underneath the two cages. And then you're going to pull the cages off the deck but I am not going to do that we're just going to place the cages here for a minute because I do not want to get myself into trouble you would um, take the cages off the top what you're going to do now is place this portion on the top of the box like this you will then do the vanish and just to show that their card has vanished you can show it's vanished from the deck only to appear inside of the box but what the position is now their chosen card is hiding underneath the top, the bottom of the box gaff. So what this means is you can turn this box over, open up the flap. As you open up the flap, you're just going to pull down this card, contact with the card below it, and pull it out from inside of the box. You can flash the bottom again, and this will be their chosen card. Like I say, I am really sorry I cannot reveal the actual card cage itself because I do not want to get myself in trouble. But like I say, I do have these for sale. So if anybody is interested, shoot me an email. I can get it in the post ASAP. I have recorded a video showing you how to move, how to do this trick. So if you do purchase it, I can send you a private, private link to view it. So that's it guys. I am really sorry I cannot reveal this, but you know, I've had a couple of channels removed and this you can find the reveal to this on youtube there are reveals to this trick but i'm not going to get myself in trouble i do apologize but like i say it is um up for sale super easy to do super visual 
You don't necessarily need the bottom of the box gaff. That's just something I added a little bit extra. So comment, subscribe, like for more reviews. Cheers.